for about about the feelings you have. We're here to indulge every single Travis Barker or sad old Peter B. Parker. Don't feel bad about terror reef. There's no need to apologize. Let's all commiserate about the trashy girls and guys. These questions are the human equivalent of your order for door door We're talking about trash. You know, I think that about sums it up. <laughs> oh, we are talking about trash. I'm really excited. Y'all, that was uh, Mike Shepard. I think that if anyone has sort of auditioned to be just like the, the Paul Schaefer the Paul Sha- of, of yeah. Hot Minute, it's Mike Shepard. That was incredible. Thank you, Mike. I love that. Mike was in uh, Five Seconds of Summer. Tower Defense. Tower Defense. Um, All the bands. He's Ike Turner. Uh, the but- Beatles. The Beatles, especially. This is a very special episode of Hot Minute. It is. This is Hot Minute. I'm Jamie. I'm Ashley. And uh, you can find us online at H-O-T-T Minute. This is a podcast where we talk about who's hot and why. And Sometimes we get a little bit off track with that, <laughs> it's you know, fun. but it's okay. It's, it's okay. Fun. It's fun. So our season ended a few weeks ago, but you know, Ashley and I just... We just can't stay away from we each other. We have a group text, we and group text. we've been, you know, we've been talking about a lot of important issues, and we decided we had to come back into the studio today to kind of hash them out. Yeah, and I think one thing that we've never, you know, we, we can kind of find a, a fuckableness if you'll, if you'll, and almost and, anyone any, or anything or anything. But you know, there's even just like a, a layer of shame. There is a line. There is a line. It's and not a. Th- Thick line. No. <laughs> In fact, it's. I, I actually was reading my list. So I was like, I don't know if I'd feel bad about that. But um, I will say this was a harder list for me to put mm-hmm. together than some. Um, so yeah. So this the theme of today's episode is just shame. Fucks, shame. Basically. Like not even necessarily embarrassing crushes, Mm-mm. but just like clear, like maybe like bad decision. I said, maybe, I said like, it be- before yeah. we started. It's all people I would be thrilled to hook up with, but not proud to hook up with. Yes. Um, yes. Beautiful. So hotminute.com you can listen to every episode that we've done there's, we're very funny there's just so many and, and they're all really good honestly <laughs> I honestly I'm saying this like completely objectively yeah. 100% I think Jamie's really funny stop it I think Ashley's funny so there you go other things to promote uh, while, while we got you on the, <laughs> the horn uh, I recently because I need attention constantly sat in on uh, fan slash fiction <gasps> yes with Zach um, and Andrew was not there, so I was Andrew, and we talked kind of academically about my passion for fan fiction and erotic fan That's fiction. That's another great podcast it is. on this network. It's very good. Yeah, it's a We Own This Town podcast. Um, also, just a, a fun credit, our music, uh, sort of the fun ambient music that I'm sure is probably layered under <laughs> what I'm saying right now, um, is by Upright T-Rex, which is uh, Ross and Cody, who are very talented and more talented than me. <laughs> yeah, so... I think we'll just hop right in. Yeah, let's just, no crush, no. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, no. Um, sorry. We one, two, three. Who Jay, are you crushing on? Jason oh, Momoa. <laughs> Jason. We were Momoa. just gonna say Jason Momoa at the same time, and fuck, we messed it up. Fuck, hey, fuck. do you think Jason Momoa is hot? I mean, at us, if you do. Yeah, if you think Jason Momoa is hot, just just say it, cause he's tall. Yeah. And he's got a hot face. His face is cool. His eyebrows look like he got a four wheeler. Seems wreck. like he has good taste in ladies. Lisa Bonet. You know he goes downtown. Mm-hmm. Jason mm-hmm. Momoa eats a pussy. He's mm-hmm. our crush. He's slurping an oyster. Yep. So the opposite of Jason Momoa <laughs> is the everyone actual on topic this today. List. So, um, I don't even know where to start. I don't either. I don't even know where to start. Should we start on? <sighs> should we start at Mac Daddy? Like kind of the impetus of like <sighs> this whole thing, or should you, we work up to him? What do you think? <sighs> He's so bad. It's so bad. It's let's so bad. Let's for, for last. Let's save yeah, for yeah, last. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I have a pretty like healthy list. And by healthy, I mean you go through your list, and I'll like jump in with some of mine as they okay, come along. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go number number onesie. I'm gonna start start us off kind of easy. Shia LaBeouf. Mm-hmm. LaBeouf. Yeah. Um, I read a lot of blind gossip. He's probably like abusive and awful. I really he's don't really know. that bad. I'm not sure. So that's the thing. There's no proof there. Okay. Um, he's not a he's not a Chris Brown. He's not a like mm. that kind of guy. It's more everything I read about him is just like 
he hasn't bathed for 15 days and he like kicked somebody at a gas station. Is this just like, you know, and just then untreated he, mental illness or yeah. like mental illness like exacerbated by yeah. drug use, exacerbated by right. being a child star. Exacerbated yeah. by just ego run amok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but not, I, being, not being told no, that's the problem ever, with everyone. I say ever. it all the time. Um, being on the set of holes. You Who, know? Knows? Who knows? Who knows what happened to that kid? Even Stevens. What a mess. Um, but yeah, I'd fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not ugly. No, he's not ugly. However, he doesn't have a, he has a weak chin, mm-hmm. which is fine. But it's usually covered in like a pube-like array of facial hair. Like, he is just every dude who never left your hometown mm-hmm. and is like really fucking intense about it. Yes, and that's, yes. that's it. Like he has a hardcore band, um, <laughs> but he's got like a 12 year old, but he's like, Somehow it doesn't make sense that he would have a child that old. Yeah. Um, also, like I think I'm kind of I'm kind of dressed like Shia LaBeouf right now. Uh, Your shirt is, is pretty wrinkled <laughs> and stained. And I do have bo, <laughs> but I work from home. Shia, what do you do? Um, so is he. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like kicking like a litter of puppies right now in a oh. ditch. Anyway, Shia LaBeouf. Number two Z on my list is one that I know we I know we share, and I feel like this oh, yeah, one yeah, yeah. is kind of in in LeBuffian territory, where it's like if you don't know anything about this person, he's cute. It, it means nothing to you. Yeah, yeah, it means nothing to you. It's like okay, okay that's a handsome mm-hmm. man, but when you do know stuff about this guy, then he as immediately soon as you is scratch a, a little bit past bag. the surface, you're it's like Ugh. red flag after red flag after red flag. Right, and, and then, that man. Wait, what I was gonna say? Oh, one, yeah. one more layer. One more layer is that there are gonna be. I think this is a good disclaimer. There will be people on this list that are like palatable to a lot of other people mm-hmm. but i feel like for our brand this is a this is it a, doesn't work for me personally and it's not even necessary not off, all of the, yeah yeah it's off brand but we would fuck i would fuck everyone that <laughs> i live is on tv <laughs> i'm trying to think of like a no response to that and i can't so i mean my line is like the obvious like abuse, no horrible me, no monsters right but no just monsters. like fucking idiots i'm an idiot we're all idiots you I'm know a, human I'm a beings big idiot are going we're all doing our best and this guy is i wouldn't say he's king idiot but he's, i also wouldn't say he's doing his best <laughs> but <laughs> Scott Disick. Scott, Scott, Scott Disick is hot. Uh, yeah. He's just handsome. He is. he is, you know, he's a he's a Kardashian. Yeah, for his life. And he's not though. He was all. I'm not a fan of the show. I've never no, been me like. I've never. I've never seen more than a full hour yeah, of it. I maybe mean, strung it's, together. But like everything that I it's see unwatchable. of him is like kind of funny. It's yes. like he was always kind of in on it. It's yeah. like he was always a little winking about yeah. it, which made me like him. But he's also very vapid and very like sleazy. He's horrible. Yeah, he's horrible. They're all horrible people, and he just is the hottest one. Right. Anyway. Yeah. So that's one. Did he ever cheat? Is he a cheater? Oh my god, I'm sure. Are they all cheaters? I'm okay. sure. He's also dating, uh, I think he's still with Sophia Ritchie, who's like 19 years old. <sighs> <laughs> the exhale. All right, move on. Yep, yep. Next on my list is, we're going to... Ashley Spurgeon. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sapphic boner for a let real me- turd. <laughs> Ashley, <laughs> let me let me run it. Let me pop into the one of mine real quick yeah, because yeah, yeah. I want to just get out of the way. Girl, get up on this here. is not like a crush I had. This is a sex stream I had when this first imp- <laughs> when this person like broke into the mainstream, and yeah. it was approximately ten years ago. And this face was everywhere, yeah. and it was like intriguing. And it's like Julian Assange. <laughs> What's his deal? What's this this Australian roused about? I'm you know, like, yeah. uh, no. When he like he did like almost one good thing, maybe I know. sort of, but I know. then someone else went to prison for it right, and then right. it's like he's obviously a fucking psycho insane person yes. like he, like living he in lives like, in an embassy and like the embassy almost kicked him out because he didn't like clean up his cat shit I know. and it's i just picture him literally in like the family restroom in a double tree i want to be extremely clear i want to be extremely clear i actually like really hate julian assange oh yeah and no, i would not fuck him but i did have a but sex dream about him when 
he was like 10 years ago, I guess, whenever he was first coming out. And it really kind of upset me. I don't have sex dreams very often, like <laughs> one a year. I have like kissing, hold hand, like oh. romance baby dreams. And so when I'm getting like fucking railed in nighttime, like in my fantasy world, <laughs> I do not want it to be from Julian Assange. It was really upsetting. I like, told my friend and she laughed at me. I told oh, Tracy no. and she laughed. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's like. Because it's funny. If you could order up a better fantasy rail. Jason Momoa. It would be Jason Momoa. There's one. Delete. So, so that one. That's great. I, on the other hand, have sexy dreams frequently. I don't always remember the details, and they're usually awful. Mm -hmm. But they're usually hot people. But they're just terrible. (sighs) You're so lucky. Or it'd be like a made-up person. It's like dream, like dream. Brad Drompkins. I had a dream. It was my boyfriend, but it was actually someone really hot. Like (laughs) (laughs) it's like a unicorn with like a kitten's face. It's some sort of (laughs) thing, but it's like Estelle Getty at the end. Like that's really hot. I mean, um, anyway, so that leads me to my next one. You know, we're um, we're pan here. Sure, yeah. Uh, we'll and go with so that, yeah. another one, like an undeniably sexy person that is shameful to hook up with when you really think about it is Jessica Simpson. Mm. Like I imagine that she doesn't understand bathing properly, <laughs> but is also like a fucking billionaire and is really successful and is really pretty, but probably doesn't brush her teeth every day. I don't really even think about her very often or much I, at all, I guess. I think about her more than I should. But like she's very really sexy. So one thing that I would say is that I'll never forget when John Mayer and she were hooking <gasps> that's up. That's right. That's right. After Nick and Jessica. Is this circle like 09, 2010? Yep. Yeah. And in Rolling Stone, he said she was sexual napalm. Does that mean like her pussy was hot and she gave him a VD? Like, what does that even mean? (laughs) No, he meant it like, oh, wow. Because he was like bragging that he basically hooked up with like post deflowered divorce. That just means that she had big titties. Titties. That's all that means. She's a classic like bombshell look. Like, and she was riding on that. uh, She was riding on that. Dukes of Hazard. She's got Pizza like, Hut mod. <laughs> she's got like a daddy husband now that's pretty hot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty into her husband. Her kids are named like Lowell. They're like, like named that's the Wings. Uncle, the li- <laughs> Wings cast. Is oh what her children are named. <laughs> <laughs> named all my children after taxi characters. This is Lotka and Alex. Yeah. This is my daughter, Crystal Bernard Simpson uh, from Wings. Oh, uh, one thing I do know about Jessica Simpson recently, though, she was pregnant and she had like crazy like edema in her life. <laughs> and they were all like swollen and she was constantly posting Sexy. pictures of her like elephant feet it was great I I'm, loved I'm it that's hot alright uh, who's next on your list do you have, have uh, another let's insert? see um oh yeah okay so are you a teen mom fan uh, I'm familiar so there is a man called Devoin Tyler mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. got one of the teen moms pregnant yep. and he's really really cute let us know which one he is Brianna de Jesus's yep. yeah, baby's yeah. father. So Brianna was on she's originally. Like a, she's, on, she's on second season. She was on Teen Mom three, which that's got right, canceled. Three, but then right. she got moved over to Teen Mom two to like continue her storyline. So I was really into Teen Mom, which is now Teen Mom OG. Yes, which is your your which is your, your Tyler your Macy, and your Macy exactly. and your Farah mm-hmm. and your yeah yeah. But, Teen yeah. Mom two is Janelle. Yeah. and the one in Iowa. Yep, and the yeah. But it's also now got Brianna, and Brianna is pretty much the only one who had a cute father of her child. Yes, he is and the she's only, like the only like one that looks clean and like normal and lives in a suburb. And, she like, actually her has life, a real job. Yeah, like, she's and her life, pretty she's put together. Time shares. Yeah. Um, I've looked into all of this. Uh, yeah, uh, no, yeah. he is. Fine. So I don't mean to like be watching Teen Mom because all these children, Whatever. by the way, are now like nine. Oh, yeah, I know. And these kids are fucking grown. It's really upsetting. I mean, and really, uh, the only reason to watch it now is, like, so... I watch it to feel better about myself. I watch <laughs> it I watch it periodically when I'm watching my next... I'll bring up my next crush. Because to prepare for today, I actually Googled MTV reality show. And mm. I was like, I was like, I know that I, like, shamefully have had crushes on these yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So when you told me about that crush, I was like, uh, got you, girl. He's really... Re- I mean, he's, 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 he's objectively just, a good-looking so guy. I, I did some, and he's like, like not a shitty Google. dad. He's got... He's... Mm, <laughs> well... He's not he's Janelle's just dudes. now. He's not Janelle's... Janelle's oh dudes are God. terrifying. I've 
crying. Got the layers to that poor girl. That's so sad. This one's just kind of fucking an idiot. Yeah. And like he's got like drug charges here and there. But I, can't, I didn't see anything violent. I didn't no. see anything. It's like he's just a shitty kind of deadbeat dad. Yeah. And they're basically on the show to counterbalance like when they cut to Janelle like lighting a forest on fire. Exactly. Which um, did happen in the last episode. I know. It was great. Okay. Oh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I was going to say, I'll call your Brad Briggins, whatever his name was. What was his name? Uh, Devoin. Devoin. Devoin Tyler. Devoin Tyler. And I will, I will say, I've got actually two MTV alums on mm-hmm. here. I'm going to, I'm going to go with Pauly D. I've met Pauly D. Oh, have you? I have. Ashley, what did he smell like? He smelled really good, I Jamie. I bet he smelled really fucking that's, good. That's all I have to say. I waited in line <laughs> with my friend Sean at, like, fucking downtown. I don't even know which club we were at downtown, but we wait. This was in, like, 2000. Yeah. 10 what year of Jersey Shore was and he was yeah. doing an appearance and I wrote I got paid to go meet yeah. Polly Shore Polly yeah. Shore Polly, Polly Shore. D, Polly D. <laughs> who by the way is the most successful one now like he makes like millions he, of he dollars DJs. yeah he's a DJ like, yeah I always thought he was like actually cute. He was cute. He was cute. I mean, I wanted to go see him for a reason. Yeah. I don't line up to see every yeah. fucking idiot on reality TV. Like I did go see Daisy from Rock of Love but downtown. She I was mean, cool though. No, she wasn't. <laughs> she was cool. Daisy. Rules. She wasn't Heather. Oh my god. No, pff, I would. I would. I pay, would fuck Rock of Love Heather. I would fuck everyone on Rock of Love. Farron and Ashley are the best two reality stars besides New York that have ever. <sighs> Tiffany, Pollard, Tiffany Pollard. HBIC. Yeah. Yeah, uh, um, but yeah, Polly D. You know, I feel like on a similar tip, this is kind of like the Teen Moms. Who's the hottest Teen of all the Teen Moms? Which one would you oh, hook up with? Oh, of all the girls, um, that's a really good question. Honestly, Brianna. Probably she's pretty. Probably Brianna. She, but she's just in my head right now. So. Yeah, <laughs> she's just always she's just she's, in my head. She's in my head. I honestly like. I'd probably. I'd probably pick Macy because she's local. Macy, look, <laughs> Macy looks exactly like my sister. So I could never in a thousand years. I just know that I could go to like a church's chicken and Macy's pro- probably going to be there. There's Macy's downtown, yep. lower Broadway right now yep. just having the time of their lives. Um, so speaking of low broad, mm-hmm. one of my crushes, mm-hmm. pedal taverns and party tractors. <gasps> honk, honk. Honk, honk. So when I talk about a shame fuck, uh, literally... You know, in the tradition of this show, it's not all people. It's Mm-mm, not people. Not at all. Um, we've talked about trees, we've talked about spiders, love spiders. Yeah. Lo- I don't I actually love don't. Spiders. She loves spiders. When I think of an inanimate object that I'm ashamed to say that I genuinely like, it's not the destruction of all the trees downtown or gentrification. It's pedal taverns. Have you been on a pedal tavern? Uh, so I haven't done a pedal tavern. <laughs> But what I have done is the tractor one. So for those of you who don't live in Nashville, yeah. Yeah, basically yeah, yeah. what downtown Nashville is like is there's regular automobile yep. traffic and also there are novelty Novelty traffic. vehicles. Novelty vehicles, including literally a tractor that a, pulls some hay, like a hayride. Yeah. So it's literally a, a, a giant John Deere tractor that pulls a flatbed trailer that is rocking and shaking. It has a giant cooler at the front. It picks you up at our giant uh, supermarket liquor store called Frugal McDougal. Mm-hmm. You get in. Um, I, picked, I did not know that they leave for Frugal McDougal. Literally, because it's BYOB. So you pay for the pleasure <laughs> of just riding around. They blast. I'm hopping on this platform. They blast music. So it sounds so stupid. And of course, like, hur, hur, me, my friends are ironic. We're going to do it. It was one of the most fun things I've done in years. There's a hot tub one now. It. Oh, I want to do it. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'll do it with you. I won't do it with open cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I got to wait until yeah, my gel nail, yeah, 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 until my yeah. cuticle heals That's on my, my, my left hand. So I can understand why you would be ashamed of liking these things because everyone, everyone in the city hates them. Everyone in the city hates them. And that's for the most part. That's probably an overstatement. Everyone that has scruples that's like quote unquote our friend who are, you know, anyone up- who needs to like travel downtown yes. during weekday and, hours sometimes and, get stuck behind pedal taverns. Also, it's kind of crazy. Also, I will say that prior to my ride on the tractor, I definitely had the same attitude where I was like, fuck these things. It's so annoying. Have fun on your goddamn bachelorette party. I mean, that's from true. Ohio, of almost all blah, 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 blah. Almost everything that's fun looks stupid from the outside. Yes. So then you get on it. Here's what happens you get on it with all your best friends. It's playing all your favorite kinds of music. <laughs> One of the first things, this is not cool, but it's really funny, is that like the guy driving it, his name was Cody, and the lady who's like helping, like bartend, goes, 
Now, if y'all get into any trouble, Cody is carrying. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Wow. And I was like, I'm scared, but weirdly, like. A little turned on. A little turned on that Cody is open carry. Cody's got a gun. Just in case. I'm open container. He's open (laughs) carry. And somehow we make it work. Um, Yeah. And it was just super fun. It's very Freudian. I know. And so we're riding around and like. You feel like a celebrity. It's like if you ever been in a parade. Like, no, I've I was, never been in a parade. I was in a parade a few, several times growing <laughs> up, and you were the Christmas queen, twenty sixteen. I yes. was the drama club representative for homecoming two years in a row. Was one of the only ones to do it sophomore year and senior year. It was crazy. <laughs> Um, and I got to throw candy at children out of the sunroof of a Mitsubishi Eclipse. This was cooler. Anyway, it's super fun. So my shame fuck is that I would rub one out on the fucking party trailer. People just wave at you. They're high fiving you. Everyone is so. I'll do ex- the party trailer with everyone you. Everyone is so excited that you're having fun and they're having fun. Yeah. And like it's like this super pure, beautiful little experience. I love pure. I know. It's That's very good. pure. I like that. It's very pure. I like that. I made it sound trashy, but it's pure. Anyway. I mean, it's kind of trashy. It's incredibly <laughs> trashy. Do not it's get open it. carry drinking in a fucking trailer. Like. Also, to go to the bathroom, they have special arrangements with certain bars downtown. So to go to the bathroom, they're like, everybody out. And then they like escort you in like a really fancy way into like a trashy honky tonk. And like you go up to a private bathroom and use the bathroom. Are they doing head counts the entire yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's like. It's honestly like probably not permitted. They're just like, hey, my friend Luke works here right now. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Everybody's, yeah, going, yeah, everybody's yeah. going into Honky Tonk Central and pizza. And it's awesome. <laughs> I love that. It's I awesome. Love that. And they're really sweet. Anyway, that's it. All right. Have you ever seen the miniseries John Adams? <laughs> <laughs> Transish. Um, no, but I feel like I know where, who who on that. You mini- really should watch that miniseries, the HBO miniseries okay. about uh, our American forefather, John Adams. Yeah. Saul's stars uh, Paul Giamatti. Mm, heard of him. I'd fuck him. <laughs> See, I don't it's think not Paul even, Giamatti's a shame fuck. I don't even. But here's the thing. I don't think that Paul Giamatti is even necessarily my shame fuck. It's specifically Paul Giamatti <laughs> in John Adams as John Adams. It's not even the actor Paul Giamatti. It's colonizer. It's fucking Paul Giamatti. <laughs> as the entire lifespan of John Adams by the way it starts when I'm a young man I'm 27 and then it ends with him like fucking old and decrepit like statesman I love statesman. the idea of Paul Giamatti being 27 <laughs> ever it, I don't it was odd I don't know it, it, it's crazy <gasps> did you know that John Adams like defended the British soldiers who like fired it's such as no oh my god it's a whole thing you should oh, watch it whatever. it's like and you will watch this and you will just want to like hustle up your bustle and drop to your knees and like <laughs> Drop trowel. Oh my god, it's so uh, good. The powdered wigs, mm, just mm, 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 mm. Mm. the teeth. Oh, his teeth are so <laughs> bad. And John Adams, they are not fucking around. It's great. It's so good. This is when I just rub Cheeto dust all it over. It is his like teeth. he got punched a lot. Oh god. Oh man. So good times. Good times. I love that. Thank you. I love, I love it. it too. Very sexy. Very sexy stuff. <laughs> Just, yeah, <laughs> pantaloon ripping. Not even a bodice ripper. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a bodice, like, untire. Yeah. It's very, you know, respectable. Yeah, There's no, yeah, ripping. Yeah, yeah. no ripping. He would marry you. You yeah. would court, of and then you would marry. Well, and then he would never touch you. I've got um, some really, there you go. Ew, ew, <laughs> ew. He looks like the ghost of Christmas past. All right. Yeah. Well, speaking of ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> I don't have a good transition. I kept uh, calling Julian Assange ghost boy, <laughs> yeah. white-haired ghost man. She, I couldn't, well, she, I, couldn't, she couldn't remember his name. She was like, who's the uh, white-haired ghost man? I was, I was like, like, who's the dude who lives in the embassy? I, couldn't, <laughs> I can't remember his name. Someone that haunts Bob Cratchit? I don't know. I um, am. So I'm just going to rattle through two musical dirt bags mm-hmm. real quick. Or mm-hmm. three, really. So a category from musical dirt bags. Vanilla Ice. Okay. But specifically not in his heyday hot, like, Vanilla Ice. Specifically Rob Van Winkle, mm-hmm. who lives in Florida and yeah. flips mansions. And he wears, like, cargo shorts and flip-flops yes. and backwards baseball um, caps. And- do, he From the Vanilla Ice Project, uh, my boyfriend and I watch it frequently, like... It's still on or, like, reruns? I, I, no, it's still on. Okay. Um, so Vanilla Ice, here's why it's sexy to me. Okay. I'm gonna, and I'm genuinely saying this. It's sexy to me because he clearly, his career was failing, mm-hmm. obviously, one hit wonder. And he was like, fuck it. I'm going to either, either I'm going to go back to or I'm going to learn how to 
flip houses. He's clearly much more financially stable than he ever would have been. Parlayed it into a TV show. Motherfucker knows how to do all. I of- really he is like so that you're knowledgeable. Talking, you're talking about this like he started the show in like 1993 though, <laughs> and not like 2011. No, no what I'm saying is he he it became a show, but like it's very clear when you watch this show. That motherfucker knows what he's doing because he has just been building. It's, it's actually his yes, money on yes. the line. I'm guessing. Well, that yeah. and he's no, and he's actually just been building houses in the hot baking Florida sun for 20 years, and he knows how to tile. He knows how to grout. He knows like what is a load bearing thing. He knows when we gotta do a That's tear down. Good. It is sexy unexpectedly yeah and he loves doing tile because you can just see your progress as you go but yeah he's really smart his crew clearly he he actually is smart about this thing okay and it's really funny because also you you, i watch a lot of hgtv and you can tell when they've like thrown a group together and like I'm a really big fan of, like, I have an impression where it's like, well, hey, Harley, what you got for me? And it's clear <laughs> yeah, these yeah, 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 fucking yeah, people yeah. I've never met yeah. at the door knob store. Rob Van Winkle clearly knows all these fucking vendors, like, has insides with, like, ends with them. So is this and in, like, everyone, Tampa? Where is this It's in, in Orlando, okay. I think. And everyone on the team, like, clearly is his friend and actually really cares about him. And, like, they're just, like, a truly a team of people that are building a thing. I love that. I love it. And I think it's sexy. And maybe it's not even, like, that's not even a shame fuck. He but, like, also looks like everyone who never left your hometown. Yep. Yep. And he's got, yeah, he's got, like, tiny but, bangs. And it's, like, honestly, this is the best kind of husband you're going to get. If right. you never left your town either. Oh. It's like wild he's, child pass, but like he's got his shit together now. Yep. He knows how to do like actual skills. Yep. He's going to marry. He's going to marry you after you have two kids. Yeah. Yeah. With two different dads. And he's going to be a great dad to them. He's going to be a stepdad. And you're not even going to you're not even going to tag them in pictures of the kids anymore. She's going to tag Rob. She's going to tag Rob. I like that. Really excited. You're going to get your brother to do a website for Your brother that lives in a in a bigger yeah, suburb. Yeah. He's going to do his website. It's going to be sweet. So that's mine. That's one of mine. Is he, is he, what else? Who has the music? So, uh, was that all of Other them? music, music from my youth. Uh, uh, I, liked, I had a crush on Billy Corgan. This is perfect. This is perfect. That's actually way cooler, though. Is it? It's cooler than what I was This isn't to say. like today, Billy Corgan. This no. isn't like, no. Like, this isn't like, like, it's zero shirt. Maybe okay. some yeah, hair, yeah, yeah, Billy yeah. Corgan. Yeah. No, this is like fully, yeah. I mean, this is melancholy. Like, yeah. No, Billy everyone Corgan. in that band was very hot. During I mean, that James E. Hall was my number one because he's James obviously e. very James beautiful. James E. Hall is just an incredibly attractive band. But Darcy also, Gretzky was so fucking cool. I didn't care about Jimmy Chamberlain. Jimmy but Chamberlain was... He's too muscular. He's he, too... He looked like a dude. He's got an Easter Island head face. <laughs> <laughs> he does, though. But that whole band was fucking cool. And Billy Corgan... I really, Port really, Wine really, really had a crush. <laughs> I really... You've said this before. <laughs> I have a thing How for Billy I Corgan. How did I not notice? A thing I like to call Billy Corgan uh, in print and public <laughs> is an angsty human salamander. <laughs> Because that's what he is. I love him pouting on that roller coaster. <laughs> we So mine, not as cool. My best friend and I from high school, we have reconnected and I love her and she's amazing. But she reminded me and tagged me the other day in something. When I was 14, she and I went to see a chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored <laughs> water limp biscuit tour with DMX and Godsmack. And we like. Sh- what a lineup. What a lineup. Um, I remember being like, I hope the Rough Riders are with him. I was like, <laughs> he came out and did two songs, smoked a blunt, and was like, fuck all of you. I'm at like a weird ag arena in Houston. In front um, of a bunch of 13 year olds. Yes, but I was with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I was in an unsafe, unmonitored environment, wilding out and getting unlimited merch at a Limp Biscuit concert with my bestie. My bestie had the big crush on Fred Durst, but I, of course, thought he was cute. Um, and I had the sickest crush on West. You were more of a West girl. I can tell by looking at you. I can tell by you that know. glimmer in your eye. You know. I know you. I know you. I know you're West. I yeah. love. I love that face. I love the all black contacts. I mm-hmm. love the, the bass slap. The I way like, he like. I like. I really like. <laughs> one of my. Fa- I'm not. I'm not exaggerating, and I'm not kidding. One of my favorite things about West Borland <laughs> is the way he plays guitar, and he just like looks. Oh like yeah. A fu- and he just gets he his looks, eyes really. He big. looks like, like a dude that never left your hometown that works at a haunted. <laughs> Like a haunted maze. <laughs> so, do you remember? I have one more good thing to say about what's spoiling, yeah. and then I'm going to be done. Uh, so, do you remember his like blog post from several years ago when Limp Biscuit was doing this like reunion, like this out on the sea, sort of like familiar? Okay, so they were doing one of those like 
cruise line yeah, yeah, shows yeah. and West Portland posted some like fucking blog spot like <laughs> like <laughs> rant kind of thing where it, it was like a rant where it was just like I fucking hate this it's like this is horrible it's like I'm stuck on an, it's like imagine being stuck on the ocean with like like 5,000 of your most hardcore fans he's like and I'm just clo- it's like I'm I'm almost 40 and that's like he why. was having this like fucking crisis that's why he's the hot one and it was really funny he's having a crisis he always came off as like smarter and much artier. This is like the whole like buckethead conundrum of these <laughs> fucking idiot bands where it's always your best friend who's the lead guy yeah. who's like a fucking moron and then and you who took guitar lessons or whatever right. and wanted I, to be a jazz dude or something. Right. I will say arguably like like I think he was actually kind of talented and then you've got Fred Durst like who <gasps> Oh, yeah, I mean, do you remember the fucking cover of Behind Blue Eyes? I mean, oh, God. Okay, yes, I can't. I can't, uh, I can't yes, I do. I it was, okay, uh, it was in the soundtrack to the movie Gothica. Oh, which my I God. Saw by myself in the theater. Was that Halle Berry? It was Halle yeah, yeah, Berry yeah, yeah. and RDJ. Okay. It's Robert Downey Jr.'s birthday. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> So West Borland, yeah. West Is it Borland with it's a West D? Borland. It's like okay. Al Borland from Home Improvement. They referenced Al Borland today <laughs> at work. So the coworker Synergy. looked exactly like him. Um, he did. All right. <laughs> I still have this picture of Paul Giamatti popped up, so every time I look over, it this is what I see. Okay, so this photo looks like a hobgoblin. It is literally. It is late, John Adams. It is. John, we'll share it. We'll it share is, it. It is. It's got to be like one of the last scenes they shot. They're like, John, you really got to channel just like, what would it be like to be the final days of... Imagine if you were already half buried, John. Like that's- It looks like he's just been eating Oreos on a bus for like four days. <laughs> he's got like riffraff hair from like Rocky Horror. Yes. It's really yes. good. It's really good. He's it's about really to do good. the time warp in the, on that <laughs> confrontation. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so sexy. Oh shit. All right. Okay. You want me to do another? Do another one. Yeah. Okay, I'll do another. I'll you do ma- a lot because I only have the big, big one left. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. So I'm going to rattle through two more musical hotties. These are really actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to rattle through musical hotties. Most of them are people that like a lot of people would fuck, but that I would be embarrassed to fuck up with. Uh-huh. Number one, Justin Bieber. Yep. Absolutely fucking idiot. One of the dumbest pe- celebrities. Just one of the like besides Donald Trump, one of the dumbest celebrities. Very, very stupid. Says very dumb things regularly. Very hot. Would sleep with him. You see, him. I don't even think he's hot. I think he's hot. Okay. I think he's hot. Mainly only because I really like the song Sorry and I really like the video. Which he's Sorry is a good song. He's not even in. Um, Miley Cyrus. Also a moron. Very attractive woman. <sighs> yeah. Um, very stupid. Does not seem... Uh, actually, that's not fair. She's not Bieber stupid. But I think... I'm going to say she's stupid career-wise because she could be great and she just keeps fucking it up i don't think she has greatness in her even really? a little bit no oh, i, I think yeah yeah i, I think do. she has competence in her i think she has <laughs> no i mean there's yeah. no there's a career and then there's greatness you know what i mean right. i don't know i think she can have a good solid career but she i don't know she'll she'll think, find her place i think there's some i think i think she's found her place i think she's found her place i think there's moxie i wish she would stop fucking it up there is moxie yeah and it's just like not i don't want to say pick a lane but just like no i do maybe like like go all in on the like little little baby just don't be so fucking obvious about yes, it yes my thing is like okay you're you want to be like you know the ghostbusters ghost it's very gwen <laughs> stefani it's very yeah. like now i know an asian person yeah like yeah, you know no, totally. yeah when she just did, i i saw some headline last night and what put her on the list I don't even know what the controversy is. I just know it's racist on accident. And I'm just like, I don't even know. <laughs> we don't even know the she's controversy, sitting in a tree. But it's racist. She's sitting, yeah. on a, she's sitting in a tree. People are mad and it's on BuzzFeed. I'm like, Shh, it's somebody's. I don't know. I'm not like, looking this, this is up. like a, not she made fun up. of Filipino people or something on accident. I don't even know. Like, she's just an idiot. She seems um, dumb. She seems dumb. Dave Navarro. He's he's West Borland. He's like, he was the West yeah. Borland of. Dave Navarro is better looking than West Borland, I think. Yeah. So uh, I rem- so I remember Dave Navarro's cute. I remember the the Dave Navarro era of Red Hot Chili Peppers, oh, and yeah. I specifically am thinking of the music video for Love Roller Coaster. I know where it was exactly. like a cartoon yes. animation. It's like yes. a sexy Dave Navarro it's cartoon. Sexy. He always had like even as a young woman, I was like his chin looks like my vagina. That thing, that like the king, clef, the king tut <laughs> pubic mound attached to his face. Tut pubic mound, yeah, it is. 
Well, now he just kind of looks like... If I he, mean... If he didn't have the mustache, he really just looks like a woman that writes... Dave like Navarro circa 96, 97 mm-hmm. was a forerunner of 21st century queer fashion and he didn't yes! even know it. Oh, like, yeah. this is no, like... That was always what was really hot about him is that he seemed... Willing to play with some gender stuff. He also hooked up with Carmen Electra at a very hot time. They both of their yeah. hotness, their touching tongues. They were married. He did. He did some stuff that was like kind of flirting with when well, all the red hot. All right, all right. Did. I got some. I got some words. All right, I got some <laughs> words to say right now, and it's in regards to this picture. And this is going to kind of go back to something I don't like. What is this picture? This is just a picture of Dave Navarro, like kind of with a shirt undone. Yep. He's he's he's. There's like a six pack. I don't like beefy. I don't like, I don't think that's beefy. That's it's not lean. beefy. It, it's not beefy. It is lean, but like he's that. showing it off in a manner that is like it's beefy for him. He's showing it off. Here here's you know who Dave Navarro is? Who? He's a jock that likes Prince. Look at that guy. He he plays basketball, yeah. but he wants to be <gasps> He totally plays basketball. He plays basketball. Oh my god, Jamie, you fucking nailed it. Or he does like shot put. He's but he a wants basketball to- player <laughs> who yeah. likes who who really likes purple rain. He just really like he wants to be sexy, but he like is probably really good at baseball. <laughs> He's kind of, yeah, there's, I also get, like, secret normie vibes yes. from him, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're yeah, trying, yeah. oh my god, wait, is Dave Navarro the one who did the MTV Cribs and he has the Vietnam picture in I his fucking, remember. oh I my don't know. god, do you remember? Oh, oh, no, I'm positive this is him. I'm sure I am is. positive. This that was an episode of Cribs from 1998, like and do you remember, like, the iconic photo of, like, the Viet Cong dude, like, executing the man no, in the street? he has that? It was blown up over his entire wall. It was an entire, it was a fucking Gross. statement wall. It was a statement wall. And I'm, it was, like... <laughs> I want to say it was Dave Navarro. It may have been Marilyn Manson, but I want to say it was Dave Navarro. Should we do a game, Miley Cyrus and Dave Navarro, who insulted the Dave like, Navarro Vietnamese Vietnam. nation? Um, um, Cribs. Yep, that's Dave Navarro on MTV Cribs. Here it is, uh, video unavailable. Thank you, Viacom. So I'm going to reference one that I wrote down during Mike's song, which is in a very similar vein, but also who I think is kind of hot, Travis Barker. That was a good call, Mike. Uh, what on my list? Isn't Travis going back to Disick? Uh, Travis Barker is supposedly now dating Chloe Kardashian. No. Yes. <gasps> good for her. That's what I heard. Oh, my God. Well, that's, that's what I heard by reading online blogs. <laughs> that's, what <I> heard. <laughs> that's what I heard when I clicked on the With gossip website. Yeah. That's what I heard from my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, Travis Barker is someone that was never the hottest I have accidentally seen Blink-182 more than like any other <laughs> band ridiculous. in my life. Like just horrible. Fort- I've accidentally seen Green Day like three times. I've, uh, same. Yeah. It's Green Day and Blink-182 just at every festival yeah. in the aughts. Like I've just seen them a billion times. I never found Late anyone 90s. in Blink-182 attractive. I never liked the band. I thought, I actually thought Mark Hoppus was kind of cute. The like was he the lead? he was like the he, so Tom DeLonge is the one that like now thinks the that, like, aliens the alien guy okay I didn't think he I thought he was like really shrimpy and beady eyed Mark Hoppus is not cute now but he had like a sexy voice but was he the lead vocalist yeah okay, he was the lead yeah, vocalist yeah, yeah, yeah. he had a sexy Tomorrow, voice yeah it and it Friday seemed night? like That's he probably bad. wrote most of the songs Travis Barker never really did it for me until the the, the tragedy yeah. yeah and then I was like well God move His out of the way friend, yeah. damaged. Damaged goods. Can't stay away. I don't yeah. like head tats. I don't know. I don't like tattoos all over your fucking skull. What can I say? I love them. Sign me <laughs> you up. Love Which a takes me to... This is a shame fuck du jour. Uh-huh. Pete Oh, Davidson. Davidson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do not even try to front like you don't act wouldn't like, get I on would, that. I, look, I would. I totally would. I know. Big dick energy is real. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. He has it. He has it. I he's got it. issues. He's got problems. We're all human. Again, we're all human. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> like having a Barbara Walter. <laughs> <laughs> we're all human. So Pete Davidson now is dating Kate Beckinsale. Icon. Legend. Icon. I love Kate Beckinsale. I love Kate Beckinsale because she had a baby with uh, Michael. What's his name? Uh, um, Sheen. Sheen. Michael Sheen. Like who's so the, hot? Who's so hot? But at the height of her fame, yeah, she met up with. Just weasel ass Michael Sheen. Ten years her senior. Ten maybe? years her senior yeah, on a on the damn underworld movies and was like, put a baby in me. And she's like, you're a werewolf. You're a werewolf. I'm a vampire slayer and a vampire now. We need to have a baby. Let's have a hybrid baby. 
And now she's fucking on Pete Davidson. Like she's ugh. honestly a legend because Kate Beckinsale is one of the only actors who acts like men do. Yes. And is yes. just like fucking like fly with it. Can I tell you a really lurid reason why I love her? She has tiny titties, but she has stretch marks on her titties. And you can see them when she wears low cut dresses. And I've always been like, thank you, Kate. They're 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 this is so much. I've thought about this a lot mm-hmm. because I'm like, okay, she's a brunette around my same coloring. She has small breasts. Yeah, yeah. This I'm googling Kate Beckinsale side boob on my work computer. It's not side boob. It's like literally like cleat a little bit of like, like a oh, like from the top. Yeah, yeah. Because it's probably from like a baby or of course, puberty yeah. or puberty. But she's. But I'm just she, having like banging titties. But she will show it, and I love too that she doesn't. Uh, I just love it. Yes. Yes. It's, I screamed that. Yes. 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 It's it's a it's a thing yeah. we don't talk about. There they are. I've never seen anyone talk about it. Um, I love that. I love it because they're not big. I was playing with a boob vein last night. <laughs> right? Yeah, I have a big one. But it's yeah. like, <laughs> I just remember being like in high school and noticing that, or like maybe college, seeing that and being like, oh my God, this rules. That's a celebrity that's like one of the hottest babes. And she has like fading stretch marks on her yeah. titties and I love it. I dig that. Cool. Um, I, I just got a, I just screen grabbed her We just her screenshotted boobs. it. We'll, yeah, follow us on hot, <laughs> at hotminute.org for titties. Um, yeah, so that's mine. Um, really, I have a few others. I don't even know if it's worth really digging in because I want to be mindful of time. But one, Should we? one that I think is, so we both made lists. We don't have time and honestly, I don't want to alienate the four fans, fans that we have, but I do. My think- grandma, Larissa, <laughs> your grandma, Larissa, <laughs> um, Mike, Mike's here. But we made we each made lists of people that like everybody else likes that we don't like. One person that we found commonality with like mm-hmm. right away was Beto O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke, and you know, we'll, look, we'll, we won't go too hard on the politics. Like we'll leave that out. Obviously, if you listen to this podcast at all, she and I are left leaning mm-hmm. women, put it mildly. And I'm from Texas. Clearly, I wanted to see Beto O'Rourke. Of course. Annihilate. I definitely wanted him to win the Senate the race. beast that is the, the just she beast that is Ted Cruz. One of the things I but, hate about myself is when I am like remember that Ted Cruz is a human being. Oh and God. I have like pity for him. And no, like, you know, no. I do. I sometimes no. feel sorry for see, him. See, and that's the thing is it's like, though I haven't lived in Texas in years, he is actively. I'm, uh, he's the worst. He's, he's actively he, hurting people that I, I care know. about. And the people that he's hurting are too stupid to even know he's fucking hurting them. That. Anyway, so but, anyway, Beto couldn't beat him. Couldn't beat him. Beto couldn't beat him, and so that made He's him back. decide that he could be president. Right, kind of, I guess. And and you know, I was okay with it, and then it's just it's. I don't think he's hot. His neck looks like a dick. I don't like that he's a fucking Irishman and yep. he's going by like Beto. Beto. You're trying to trick me and I see it. <laughs> You're trying to trick me and I see it, sir, Mr. Um, O'Rourke. Uh, he is like fucking Troy from Reality Bites all grown up. Yep. He and wasn't, I'm not down. I'm not down. He got kicked up. I mean, we decided to. He there's, we, he look, wanted to be in Mars Volta and we he wasn't there. cool enough. We weren't there, but here's the story we're going with. He got kicked out of Mars Volta for being a fucking dork. Uh, did like, that happen? No. Are I mean, we saying it happened? Yes. Yes. And it's just like, I just see Cedric, and they're just talking, and he's like, narc. S- C- narc Cedric vibe. Bixler, CDB. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Narc, narc vibes. Uh, Beto is a narc. Beto is a narc. With a dick um, neck. And I'm really gross. Do you remember the lady on, oh, my God, some hashtag resistance idiot that was like, uh, Beto O'Rourke is the person that, like, eats you out and makes your toes curl. Do you remember that? It was a No, gro- I don't remember that. That's it was a bad. Thing. It was a thing that now is, like, such a thing that it's united all the, like, super lefty people into, like, like everyone's well. Someone's like, hey, oh remember that God. lady? But it was just one of those things. Beto it, might eat you out, but he'll complain about Tori Amos afterwards. <laughs> like, that's the kind of dude he is. I don't know. But that being said, he's he's not, like, horrible. Is he a bad person? No. I don't think he's a bad person. I don't person. think he's a bad person. No. I just think he should shut the fuck up and go away. <laughs> I think you should take his, as Ashley said, his turgid penis neck. It's so gross. And just Google, go y'all, I'm just saying, Google some pictures of Beto O'Rourke. It does look, look like a dick. closely at his neck and tell me that's not a penis. It looks like what Kate Beckinsale's putting her mouth on. 
her, <laughs> her vampire mouth. All right, let's go to bag. Oh wait, wait, wait. We oh, didn't wait. talk about. Oh, okay, shit. we didn't talk about the whole like the whole shit. reason for this. Okay, so oh my god. all right, all right. Oh my so, god. Sorry. Not, again, not to get political, <laughs> but so, to the amount that we do not want to fuck Beto, we do want to fuck Michael Cohen. <laughs> Like so bad. Okay, so here's the deal with Michael what? Cohen. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Ashley, take this. So all right, so this, here's the deal with Michael Cohen. This one is the reason we are sitting here right now having he's, this dumb episode. He's horrible. I would, I would I'm like, Beto. I. So I mean, I would she, probably so fuck Beto. I, I absolutely would. Yes, I. Would I too. absolutely would. I'm. Poor. But would I? But would I be ashamed by it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Would I tell anyone? No. I would tell you. I would tell you too. Okay. <laughs> But I would tell everybody if I fucked Michael Cohen because I would be so proud of like what I was able to achieve in so this, this life. This is a pride. Shame. Okay, so here's the thing about I don't I can't. Okay, so he, here's everything about him. Cards on the table. He's a fucking idiot. He's a criminal. He's a piece of shit. He's a monster, and I hate him. He's a fucking strong man. He's a bully. He's a fucking money launderer. Like he's he's a bad guy. Here's what I like about him. Cards are on the table. Oh yeah, cards are on the table about that, and it's like he's just like he'll tell he'll he'll he, not tell you anything. He, that's what it's exactly it because now he's like literally he's like <laughs> selling all the secrets. He's selling out. He is well, a rat. He is the he's the king. Capital he's a R rat. King. rat. He's, he's the a rat, rat king. king. He Tie all of those tails to my titties and just swing them around like tassels because I am fucking obsessed. I love it. Love Michael Cohen. I was doing some some Rat hardcore King. research, doing some research on Cohen today. He's the fucking worst. He tweeted out like a sexy lingerie picture of his daughter a couple of years ago. And and everyone's like, this is really gross, weird, and appropriate thing to show. He's like, brains and beauty. Oh, I love my fucking hot daughter. It seems like they're all like this. They are all like this. But the thing that I love about Michael Cohen is it looks like... <laughs> Uh, it always looks like someone just like caught him in the middle of like eating a big meatball or something. <laughs> it's like, like, like this whoop, is a man huh? who it's like you. D- <laughs> it's like whoop, whoop. he's just been shot in the face over yes. and over and over or and over like, again. He's like, oh, this, p- this pizza is very hot. Like, oh, I regret all of. You know, his parent, like his dad, was like a Holocaust survivor, oh and sh- I mean, it's like, and the, what oh a my, fucking I'm, moron. He's the worst. I fucking. <laughs> he's not even that hot. Like he's not even hot. But <laughs> it's just cute. like his gormlessness and his like his 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 just the way that this kind of fucking moron has stumbled into this world level historic shit is oh endlessly fascinating God. to me to think that yeah we will be talking about michael cohen for decades centuries. decades yeah, yeah. centuries maybe not he's centuries like, but he's going like especially like i compare him to just like low level Watergate people that'll get brought up on randomly on like MSNBC and stuff and I'm like Michael Cohen is all of these are little books. bully boy little tough shits they're all like fucking like yeah. like just shitty little like fucking wannabe gangbangers functionally it's, at the end yeah, of the day and when yeah. oh my god my other favorite thing was when he like got out of prison after being arrested or whatever and then he went to some cigar club yes. in New York and took all these pictures with his like fucking gangster cigar uh. friends <sighs> Idiots. I hate it. I hate it so much, but it's like, I hate it so much, I respect yeah. it. I hate it so much that it's like, there are people, and I obviously won't say names, but like real people I know that I still just follow on Instagram because I'm just delighted at how mad they make me. It'll mm-hmm. be like, yeah, yeah, here's yeah. all this dumb fucking shit about my stupid kid and I'm a bad person. And I'm like, yeah, oh. Yeah, I don't have any like Michael Cohen Google alerts set up. Like, no. I don't like care about his life or keep up with he, him. No, me either. Like, there are people in that administration that like make me so disgusted that like my teeth hurt. Michael Cohen, I'm like, del- like if I see his dumb gaping maw on my TV, I'm like, what is he it's doing? It's so obvious. Like everything, and I was reading, it's like, how did he even like, you know, because I don't watch, I don't watch congressional hearings. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't don't fucking care. I don't watch cable news. Yeah. Read. Just Y'all read. should read. There's read words. The figure them out. Uh, but like just reading like how he even got like hooked up with Donald Trump in the first place. It's like his, he just started. By, oh, my God. Just immediate crimes. Immediate <laughs> crimes. He was just like it's like his little dick was so hard. And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm worming my way into Mr. Trump's circle. I'm going to help him do all these crimes. And I'm going to get so rich. And it's like Ultimate and now scam. and now. But think about. His origin story, if you will, is like I'm just gonna help do some little like low key money laundering Ooh, with no fucking. Big. Oh my god, no I love big. it. With I this love fucking it. real estate guy. Yeah, I love okay. it. I love all these fucking morons. Okay, God bless you, Michael Cohen. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot with your tiny I ass hate mouth. You. And honestly, cute face. Honestly, kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> 
He looks um, like a dog. He looks like he, he looks like a like a Hanna Barbera dog. Yes, yes, Muttley. Yes, yes, Snidely Whiplash. Okay, this not, is not bag. It. Now Jenny's reaching into bag. Oh, Julie Andrews. I mean, I love Julie Andrews. Me beautiful too. face, beautiful voice. She aged astonishingly. Yeah, Way to Victor go, Victoria. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Honey Bunches of Oats, the cereal. The cereal? Love it. I don't know if I've ever had it. I like honey and I like oats. Honey Bunches of Oats is one of my favorite cereals, not on my diet plan. As an adult, I like to drink and I'm not going to waste my my points on oats. I like the I like the oats and honey Nature's Valley granola too. Uh, that is great if you want food all in your bra. <laughs> And when do I not? <laughs> you can lick it out. I can just push my titties up and just like. I like it when the, yeah, cluster. You know, like when you like lick a popcorn and it sticks to your, that's what I do with my boobs I eat popcorn and food. every day. Ooh. I'm just, I'm ripping through bag. <laughs> Walter Matthau. <laughs> uh, I like. Grumpy Old Man. I was thinking of uh, Dennis the Menace when he was Mr. Oh, Wilson yeah. on Dennis the Menace. Uh, I've always liked. Just how black his hair was until he died, as if we wouldn't yeah, notice he yeah, wasn't yeah. like fucking. I honestly, you know what? Real talk. Looking back, I always liked Walter Matthau. Yeah, I would. He's cute. He's cute. <laughs> he's cute. What does I was he more, look like young? What I was young more Walter of like Matthau? not very cute. I was more of a Jack Lemon. That makes sense. You and I have a lot of like. Painters. We're like we're like we're like mirror images. We're like coin sides. Here we go. Will. He just looks like a fifties adult. Mm-hmm. AKA like waiting to be 80. Yeah, he's always had 55 wrinkles on his forehead. Quest love. Uh, I mean, eh, whatever. You know, I don't watch the Jimmy. Is he on Jimmy yes. Fallon? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. couldn't do it. Uh, I think he's I cute. Like, I, I think he's cute. cute. I remember when I remember Jay Z was doing Big Pimpin' on MTV Live or something, <laughs> and The Roots was his backing I mean, band. I mean, like I remember. The Roots, remember so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's fucking. Cool. I think he's a good drummer. Yeah, he's cool. I'm always it's just kind of je- you know what cards on the table i'm jealous of people who it's like your side career is just going on tv and talking about fucking celebrities yeah. and pop yeah. culture it's like i want to do that quest love gets to do that and so i'm jealous uh this is spelled horribly but I, i'm assuming <laughs> this person is uh, i'm assuming this is linda Card- cardinelli oh from like from yeah. scooby-doo and uh green book and madman <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see fucking Green Book. No, what? Uh, <laughs> Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I like, I like her. She's pretty. She's pretty. Ooh. Oh, here you we go. Out too. I did this one. I'm going to put back because this is the perfect place to end. Because if we're talking about a shame fuck, this is the ultimate to me. I almost okay. said it earlier. This is from Alexis. Ooh, good one. Um, young Stalin. Oh, you know what? I was thinking of that. I Young, was too. you know what? Okay. I almost went there with my list. I decided to not go with Young. I decided to not go with Young Stalin for the following reason. I feel like that's kind of an internet thing that's already accepted. Like, yeah. if you ever come across the picture of Young Stalin, objectively, very it is cute, very attractive. Objectively, man. it is cute, yeah. and it's like he hasn't murdered millions. Right, when you see this right, picture, it's right. like he. Um, yeah, it's, I'm just gonna pull it up. It's not okay to love. I'm not like People pulling it up and like masturbating for the fun of it or well, anything. Also, but it's like, not like it's not like we're routinely like oh pull pot. <sighs> no, no, no. It's not a thing. But it's just like I mean, he is just a his hairline, very his, handsome man. That, that's a good looking guy. If you know, if the world had been different, right? Maybe he could have been a farmer. You know. I don't know. And he's also he's like wearing an ascot. Like he just I think the he appeal, looks like a young the appeal, he looks like a Bernie bro. I mean yeah, he does. The appeal of young Stalin is that he looks like a dude if you're on vacation and you go to like a the hip bar in mm-hmm. the city that you're in, he's gonna be there and like you don't know him enough to be annoyed by him. You know him just well enough to be like, God, what a hottie. Mm-hmm. You know? He will yell at you at a party yes. about like You're a bitch, Ashley. Yeah. He will yell. <laughs> he's a yeller. He's stalling. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's like here's the thing. It's like we we very rarely see the profile. It's mug shot. Cute. It's like a mug shot too. That's the other thing to remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. The I went on not a coaster. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, um, this I, has been hot minute. This has been hot minute. Text up. us. <laughs> 
I guess. Sext don't, us. Don't text us. Um, but I want you all listening to 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 find us on social media and tell us yes. your most embarrassing crushes. Yes. Who are your most? I embarrassed? said that I would fuck Michael Cohen, so you got nothing to be ashamed of. And his tiny ass mouth and your little titty. Okay. I bet he's got a little wiener. Oh, I bet four. it's little. Oh, it's nothing. A man like that doesn't get that You're life right. with a yeah, big yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. We gotta go. Cool. Bye. <laughs> that that's a wrap. <laughs> a man like that doesn't get that life with a big dick. <laughs> Let me send you some- Oh my god, speaking of, total side note, did you see the thing where Jenny McCarthy wrote a tell-all about her time on The View? Jenny McCarthy, I didn't piece even of trash. remember Jenny McCarthy I having a time on The View. On, I didn't remember it either. Google, just, I'm okay, not gonna, uh, we're not yeah, going to yeah, go yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google it. Okay, I will. That's great. Um, what a bitch. Oh, awful, but Google, Google this because it reveals other people who are also awful. Okay. And it's great. Hot minute after dark. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>